I bet you're going to get like great warm uh, service, nice inviting atmosphere and, and really good prepared uh, rustic food. You're going to get all the regions of Italy. We cook for the best dishes from, from the north, from Milan, down to Sicily where my family is from. They love the polenta, they love the pastas, all of our fish are fresh, our grilled meats are especially good, the ham, the duck breast, etc. Different times of night could be for different types of groups. We're right down the street from the Steppenwolf Theater. A lot of energy from the early theater from 5.30 to 7, and then after 7.30 it gets nice and quiet, more of a fine dining kind of feel. It's really good as a date night. It's really good to come out with a couple couples. Uh, big groups also have a good time. It's just really good food and service. We've been doing it for 21 years now. We've changed a little bit, but we've, we felt that what we do is, is going to be timeless, and we felt our type of cuisine is timeless. So we said, let's, let's not change it, and, and let's keep it going. <laughs> just seeing people happy, seeing them enjoy time, seeing them drinking the wine, seeing them just, you know, experiencing the food that I put so much love and passion into. So Dave, you say Vinci deserves a standing ovation. Tell us why you chose it. It does. Uh, so this was the first restaurant uh, my wife and I went to when we moved to Chicago uh, like 10 years ago. Uh, we've since moved out of Chicago, but we get back there as, uh, as often as we can, um, at least four or five times a year. Uh, we drag our friends, we drag our family. Uh, it's just that perfect comfort food Italian, um, really just rich, rich foods, um, great service. We just, we don't feel like you can go wrong with anything on the menu. So the restaurant is located across the street from the Steppenwolf Theater. It is. And so, you know, I find sometimes, you know, maybe they think it's theater, they've got right. a captive audience. How hard do they right. have to work? Uh, it's a huge mistake. I think that, you know, they're, they're always busy pre-theater. I'm not a big theater goer. We've been there all different times of the day. Um, for some reason, you show up after that theater rush has come, and you can walk right in. And, and I've never understood that. I think we always feel like... Um, people are missing out on the opportunity to walk right into a fantastic restaurant. We were able to walk right mm -hmm. in too and have no problem whatsoever and it was really nice because our server came up to us and was like do you have anywhere that you have to be nice. or anything and I, you know, I've never been asked that before. Yeah. It was really nice. We had a great experience. I was there with my partner and one of our friends. And you are uh, a theater goer. Yeah we do. Yeah. We enjoy going to a theater and uh, now I know you know a great place when we're up in Lincoln Park uh, before the Steppenwolf. Um, we told them it was our first time at the restaurant and they just treated us you know, first class all the way. We were gonna order a bottle of wine and we're not wine experts by any stretch. Right. I mean, we're sort of, you know, three buck chuck. And, you know, <laughs> nice. and so he offered to pour a few different glasses for us in advance of ordering a bottle just nice. so that we were ensured That's to be awesome. happy, which really I've never had happen mm -hmm. uh, at a restaurant before. Yeah, our server was fantastic. That's like awesome. he made the entire night. I mean, he would give us recommendations. He was joking with us. And I mean, I've had good service before, but he was outstanding. So Dave, uh, uh, what do you like to get here? What are some of your favorites? Well, so we've gone here so many times, I've gotten locked into this uh, spinach ravioli and the sage brown butter. And so I purposely <laughs> stayed away from it this time so I could try <laughs> something else. And uh, I got the veal salt and bokeh uh, for my main course. And it was fantastic. So. Is it inspired you to try new things it is. I, it's, it's probably the biggest lesson I've learned from this whole experience is just try everybody else's food, try different things, don't get so locked into the things that you know you love because there are so many other good things out there. Kit, what did you order? I'm probably going to totally butcher it, the gnocchi, the Roman style gnocchi. The gnocchi. Yeah, gnocchi. gnocchi. Mm -hmm. oh, see, that's, no, that's I'm okay. terrible about that. It wasn't the typical kind that you have. It was like a flan almost, that and it so was fluffy. whipped. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic. It was huh. so good, and it had the mushrooms. And even my uh, my friend that I came with, I made him eat it because I was like, this is so good. You have to try nice. this regardless. Isn't it nice when you discover something delicious and you just want to spread the yeah. joy yeah. and love? <laughs> and you're like, try this. Awesome. <laughs> well, I think their portions are big enough where you, it's, you don't worry about sharing around on the table or something like really? that. Really? I felt like the entrees themselves were like the perfect size for one meal. Like okay. I could not take any leftovers okay. at home. Maybe I was just really hungry that day. It could be. But it's kind of nice that I didn't have to worry about what am I going to do with my leftovers afterwards. But <laughs> You wonder if they do that because of the theater crowd too. I mean, Maybe. you wonder, you wonder if small people don't want to bring up. Yeah. Smelling like yeah. 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 <laughs> all kinds of, all kinds of pasta. Oh, like just right. distracting right. the actors. Right. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> 
Tim, what did you order? Uh, so we started with the mussels yeah. and the, pl uh, the grilled polenta. The nice. grilled polenta was awesome. Nice. It was uh, had some nice mushrooms, uh, okay. portini mushrooms, and a broth. Very happy with that. The mussels were more a little bit more of a disappointment, only because. All three of us tasted sand particles in the uh, mussels, and, and I've, n I've never had that happen yeah, before, so totally. I kind of looked at my partner and friends and said, is this, is this normal? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. And But we still managed to get right through them with no problem. I'd, I'd imagine they'd have fixed that for you in a heartbeat. I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm mm -hmm. sure of that. I'm sure. And for our entree, we actually did share, and one of the things I liked about it is that you can get any pasta or family style for a small additional fee, so it's great to share a pasta. We had the tagliatelle with kind of a veal ragu sauce. Favorite. Delicious, yeah. absolutely yeah. delicious. Um, and then we had the hen as well, which oh. is I had saw that. I've never I've seen hen I've never on had a that menu there. before. It was, it was, it was great, it was great. It's, nice. it's grilled under a brick, or so they say. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I take them at the word. And with some roasted potatoes and baby asparagus, it was like it's really, really good. Crispy. The yes. pressure of the brick oh. pushes it and it puts it against oh. the, the flat top so it gets awesome. nice and crispy. And usually they cover the brick in foil. Oh, okay, <laughs> so it's not like just a brick on top. <laughs> From the alley. Covered <laughs> in but foil is an important yeah, part of that description. The desserts I thought were awesome, and so it gave me an idea just for after theater yep. desserts. Um, the fab we had the cheesecake. There's an yeah. apple cake on there, and you don't really think Italian and apple cake. She recommended that. Oh, the and I wish I had. So they, they do this little quenelle of uh, of marscapone on top of okay. this apple cake and this um, cinnamon gelato. And you put the three together, and it's just a totally, I mean, they're good on their own. Put them together, they're yeah. fantastic. All right, well, Dave, you recommended Vinci. Sum it up for us. Yeah, I think uh, fantastic Italian food, uh, wonderful service, pre or post um, the theater crowd. Uh, you cannot go wrong. Yeah. All right, Tim? Great place to hit before show. You have after show, great desserts, great service. Uh, really, really nice restaurant. All right, and Kit? Great date night, for sure. And I would definitely recommend it and go back again. So. All right. Well, you can try the polenta and much more at Vinci, 1732 North Halstead, 312-266-1199. They're open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday and also brunch on Sunday. Reservations are accepted and the average tap per person without drinks is $33. Mm -hmm.